Welcome to Two Pro Artists, where we're poor at knowing sports ball teams, but mostly we're poor at making art. My name's Ben. And my name is Isaac. And today, here in the good US of A, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've heard that it's actually in Arizona. Apparently, it's just like right down the road. Yep. But nobody wants to go down there because there's like a million people packed into a yeah. tiny little area. I mean, to be fair, I don't ever go to Phoenix anyways. This is in Glendale. Yeah, I don't go there past either. Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. But I hear the traffic jam starts in Phoenix. I, I, I avoid going near Phoenix. <laughs> to be fair, we wouldn't go to the Super Bowl even if I don't, it was like down even, the road. Yeah, I don't even go to like downtown like of any part of you, you know what I mean? Like it's true. Downtown Mesa, downtown, downtown Gilbert, Gilbert, downtown. downtown Chandler, like. I went to downtown Chandler for the first time ever mm -hmm. the other day. It's surprisingly nice, right next to like surprisingly scary. Right. Like I'd go to Joe's Barbecue, which is in downtown Old Town Gilbert. Yeah, that counts. But uh, but I I would prefer to go to Joe's Farm Grill because it's not near downtown. downtown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, but that's not the point. The point is, it is football season, and right here in Arizona, there are two teams playing football today. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say we had to look them up, but I definitely had to look them up. Yep. I we're not. such big football fans. I didn't look them up. I was told by someone who is a sports ball fan. Sports ball is not our thing. Yep. Unless it's the right sport. Like, we're in yeah. Twitch and, and marbles. Mm -hmm. Marbles are technically... Round like a ball. Yeah, I remember as a youth group or whatever, and I picked him up and threw him in the play. And I was like, "What's happening?" It actually may not play. be the biggest <laughs> sports fans, except for esports and I like professional tag. Also, mm -hmm. it's not bad. Yeah, we we used to be uh, fans of uh, um, Tetris, but then Jonas uh, passed away. The greatest. Tetris player that shall ever live mm -hmm. has passed on. Yeah. And he passed away a month before a new technique was developed that he would have been a master of. There's a huge conspiracy behind Tetris winning mm -hmm. Tetris championships, but if you've never looked up Tetris championship, all you need to do is Google Tetris Jonas, <laughs> and the videos yep. will come up and you will be amazed. Mm -hmm. he, he was He was dethroned the at the end of his career yeah, because a new by like a 16-year-old from i don't even know where from mm -hmm. but yeah at the, yeah right a new technique was developed and then and right before his comeback would have begun yeah, because a new yeah because the the person that beat him was using a new, new technique that jonas couldn't do because it required uh reflexes that were too fast uh but then a new or new technique was developed right after jonas died that jonas would have been able to do so it was even faster. Wait, I'm confused. Are we drawing Tetris today? <laughs> no, we're drawing Jonas. Jonas, <laughs> the greatest Tetris. Yeah. No, today we are drawing related to the Super Bowl, because even though we're not huge fans, mm -hmm. like most people in the United States, we're still going somewhere where the football game is going to be on, <laughs> yep. to what you call, might call a Super Bowl party. Mm -hmm. It's going to be grand, someone's and there's going to be food. And... Someone's got to bring the board games. Yeah, we're going to be <laughs> sitting in the back. Uh <laughs> Maybe watching a commercial or two and trying to yeah. drown out the screams of the diehard fans. Mm -hmm. That's why they're in a separate room. Yep, we've got them all caged up <laughs> so they can go nuts for a few hours. Mm -hmm. But the two teams playing today are the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, you know what? I <laughs> again, I told from. you I looked them up. Oh. <laughs> See, I didn't know Kansas That's City a... from Kansas mm -hmm. and the Philadelphia Eagles. From okay. Philadelphia. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Is that what that word meant? <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. So, today, Benj and I have decided that in honor of these two apparently talented sports ball teams, mm -hmm. we are going to draw the Chiefs and the Eagles. And I'm up first today with yep. the Eagles. Oh. We're also, after this video posts are about the same time, we're going to upload a uh, yeah, YouTube uh, community post. community post, and you have to decide who's going to win the football game based on just our two drawings. Yeah. Even if the Super Bowl's over, 
Mm-hmm. Go vote based on who should have yeah. won based on our two and, callings. And and don't you know don't be like oh well I'm a fan of this team so I want them to win. Yeah, that's like not just that just based off of our drawings. Yeah, that's that's all we want is people to base their entire world philosophy mm-hmm. yeah. on. And and if you aren't a fan of either team and you're wondering who should I root for, you know because I I definitely understand when you're forced to watch a game, it's more fun to like pick a team and root for them. It's true. Than to just sit there not caring. Yeah, I will. So I will pick a team tonight that if they win, yeah, it, I guess it, I'll be it, happy. It just makes it more fun because you almost feel like you're doing something. So if you can't decide on which team to pick, you can decide based off of our drawings. I think more world decisions should be decided based on our drawings. Yeah. I agree. Who's going to win for president? Well, take mm-hmm. a look at our drawings and see who so, should. Yeah, is that what we're going to do when it comes to voting? Election season. Election season. We could do that. You you which, draw one candidate, I draw the other. And... Yeah. Which which Pokemon <laughs> game should you get? Scarlet mm-hmm. or Violet? Yeah. We did that. We did. I wonder if that influenced anybody. Yeah, it may We know have. at least one person watched our video and then went out and bought the game. Mm-hmm. But we don't know. But which, which version did they buy? You see, it's probably depending on who did the better drawing. Yeah, probably. Real world decisions made mm-hmm. right here. I'll give anybody ten bucks if they can tell me what that is. <laughs> I mean, I usually make my choice for which Pokemon game to buy based off of the art on the box. Yeah, see. So I mean, that's basically the same thing. Woo! <laughs> mm. See, this this drawing is conflicting because mm-hmm. as an American, eagles are like our. Our national bird. So mm-hmm. if I mess this thing up, then I apologize, mm-hmm. America. Problem is, what the heck does an eagle even look like? Yep. Nobody sees them. <laughs> they see like perfect looking, you know, photoshopped eagles. Mm-hmm. Not the. Well, but even when you go to like the zoo and you see an eagle, like a bald eagle, I think it'll just always look perfect. This is not a bald eagle, then. This is a Philadelphia eagle. <laughs> Much less perfect. Yeah, this is like... It looks like a turkey. Like, <laughs> like It even has like that little thing. <laughs> a little, it's of part it. of its beak. It's what part? Mm, the, the, the gobble part. <laughs> <laughs> the part the turkeys have. <laughs> you, you might be right. But what makes a bald eagle a bald eagle is the Kermit feathers. Mm-hmm. As they're called. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the official name for them. Bird. That's a bird. Bird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see it. It yep. looks like a bird. An eagle bird. I mean, it looks a little bit like a bird at least. You know, that's the best I can hope for at this point. By this point, I mean ever. Why? Why? <laughs> What's... Are you, I don't think that's <laughs> what the... Well, doesn't See, like the body come straight out from the here's neck. The problem. This is like a side view of the. Mm-hmm. This is a, this is my problem with all. I, just a uh, little tail. Like why is it so skinny? Because okay, so we have these things called bald eagles here in America, mm-hmm. right? Why right. are they called bald eagles? Because they have white feathers on the top of their mm-hmm. head. Yeah, and people are like, oh, ho, ho, it looks like it's bald. Realistically. Mm-hmm. Bald eagles should be like mostly bald, right? No feathers, so that's what we're okay. going for today. Oh, okay. It still seems real skinny. <laughs> Not anymore. Like, like you take off the feathers and it just like yeah. Well, have you loses. ever seen like what a turkey looks like with no fe- like with feathers and then without feathers? Like mm-hmm. you see a turkey walking around, it's intimidating. Yeah. Did you see I'm a peacock saying, like, walking around with feathers? It's the feathers like, that are look, most of the body. Look at its neck, right? I don't you, want you, to. <laughs> you have it like getting bigger at the top. There's there's a featherless arm. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still got feathers on his head, on yeah. the top of his head. So the skin underneath the feathers, see how it like gets bigger? He's just like, because he's, he's like clearing his throat. Skinny. It's like a frog. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, okay. but like, more like a frog. <laughs> I see. Yeah, okay. So the feet are actually going to be the trickiest thing here because these. Yeah, well, that's why you drew it so close to the bottom, isn't it? So you, you're actually trying. 
turkey or not turkeys uh <laughs> they have like scary looking mm -hmm. talons coming out of their toes so look at that that's a fine looking eagle so how come how come the foot is like the same as the body because like eagles have like stick feet that's come out of see if this was an eagle you'd have like tons of tail feathers coming off of here and right you know this i'm i'm but, I'm. this is what i was this is this was yeah, the intention I'm, but the foot the ankle like the ankle of an eagle is like a stick angle well, like and, it, and it's like ankle. a stick foot like it's not the same as the body. Not all eagle feet are the same. I think. You're but that's wrong. not the point. That's not the point. This eagle is from Philadelphia. Okay. And what is Philadelphia known for? Um, like uh, what? What are those sandwich things that they have? The um, like the cheese, the cheese, Philly steak? cheese steak, Philly cheese mm -hmm. steak, Philly cheese steak. You have the city of brotherly love, mm -hmm. which has always been a weird. Thing yeah, to claim I mean, that's, just what, city. that's just what it means. Yeah, it's city of brotherly love, Philly Fi cheese steaks. Phylos. You have Rocky Balboa. You got a big statue mm -hmm. of him in Philadelphia. Oh. But what most people are probably familiar with when you hear Philadelphia is when you go to your local grocery store mm -hmm. and you're in the dairy section. And what do they have in the dairy section? Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And what's the most famous cream cheese of them all? Philadelphia. Philadelphia cream cheese. So this guy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like how Arizona is known for our uh, tea. <laughs> yeah. One of those things growing up, I didn't realize like it wasn't just like it, it was. I thought it was just like in Arizona. Mm -hmm. no, and then I went like somewhere else and I was like, name. what? They still have Arizona tea? Yeah, in because it's just the brand name is Arizona. Yeah. It's not like, like some, we're... someone somehow got away with making a company the same name as a state. Yep. But anyway, this bagel, or I'm sorry, this eagle <laughs> it is interchangeable with in my vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. Bagel, eagle. Uh -huh. He's at the bagel shop. And, and beagle. All of those three things. See, if I was down there like tailgating this weekend with all the crazies who were clearly uh, down in Glendale, we wouldn't be tailgating with like wings and <laughs> beer and sausages and burgers mm -hmm. i'd be like selling ba like tailgating with bagels yeah. mm -hmm. for all the philadelphia people how much do you think a bagel cost They're like a a ritzy bagel store in know. philadelphia probably just way too much yeah so like like seven bucks for a bagel that's probably they're, they're they're probably like oh man I would be I wish the bagels were that cheap. Well, this is like with no cream cheese. Oh, okay. <laughs> like like a plain you can get bagel. like a plain. This doesn't have any flavors. It's not like your mm -hmm. cinnamon raisin or your cheddar or your everything bagel. Right. It's like a plain bagel. Okay. Seven bucks. Okay. You can tell his eagle's not happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, he's like at the bagel shop. And there's the counter. Okay. You want to see something cool? No good because i don't know if i'm gonna succeed oh, what what's that the third dimension mm -hmm. what's on the it's counter fine. like a like a bag like folded over at the top is there has, a, a, has a picture of a bagel on it is there there's bagels in it? Is there a person? Maybe it's like a clear. Counter? Maybe it's like a clear bag, and that's the bagel, bagel on the inside. Oh, is there a person a, behind the counter? A pretty small bagel, especially thinking that this is an eagle. I mean, think about how big we are, and think about how big a bagel is. So I'm just saying, like, if we were the size of that eagle, that would be a small bagel. Mm -hmm. And thinking that that's an eagle, it's an even. It's pre that's a pretty small bagel. And yes, there is someone or something behind the counter. But they're standing really far back, so you can't oh, see them. <laughs> okay. They're just, like, reaching out. <laughs> like, like asking, asking for the money? Yeah. <laughs> it's like their sleeve. They're like the... What, what was his name in the... The, doc, um, the Dr. Seuss book? The, the Winsler or whatever? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> His hand has like a money sign floating <laughs> up on it, like, like in a video game. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So you so you know what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. This guy doesn't look like he'd be winning many football games. I'm just saying. It that looks like kind of like he'd be coaching a football game. If I got a bagel that proportionate size for seven dollars, yeah, look at like, him. That's he's like not, a mini bagel. He's not pleased about it either. A mini plain bagel. This is like an eagle that's like visiting like Arizona for mm-hmm. the Super Bowl, right? And he's made it to my tailgate, <laughs> and uh, he's like back in Philadelphia, <laughs> and I'm like, just, yep, we got plain bagels that I bought it at Fries. Yeah, mini mini bagels. Mini bagels. <laughs> They do sell those. I actually have a mm-hmm. bag of them in the pantry right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Eagles. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't... I feel like this should have something more to do with football, but I don't really know what to add to it to make it more football-ish. I don't see this Eagle winning any football game. Let me, let me like I said, he's you. more like the old, retired, like... Like a coach that nobody knows is a coach. Mm-hmm. Like you know how there's football games where there's like that. You ever watched a? F- I, I've watched a football game this year, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Where there's like the, uh, there's that coach whose like entire job. They, they 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 say this isn't his job, but it's clearly his entire job. Is like when the head coach is like too caught up in the moment that for some reason he can't control himself and he's mm-hmm. like about to run into the field constantly so there's a coach whose little, whole job is to grab the belt mm-hmm. of the head coach and like keep him from running onto the field yeah. I've, I've never understood that like it makes me why lose all is, why respect is for the coach. a grown man not able to stop himself yep. from going over a line legitimately like that's the thing the that you get thing. mad at like kindergarteners yep. or like don't go over this line mm-hmm. and then they like do and you're like I told you not to mm-hmm. like you shouldn't like grown men yeah, shouldn't I have know. any problem with see, that see the thing tonight when I'm rooting I haven't picked the team I'm rooting for because I really just I don't mm-hmm. care and but it's not the Eagles well, see I'm drawing the Eagles drawing but them. here's how I'm going to pick the team I'm rooting for tonight based off of my drawing compared to yours it's going to be better than this this is <laughs> oh, okay. a, this is a almost sad drawing <laughs> <laughs> My eagle is just like the epitome <laughs> of like, you know, when they have those things and there's like a eagle, there's like a person who's like, yeah, this person's like stuck in a dead end job, and <laughs> like <laughs> that's the eagle. Yep. It's like there was a Pixar short, like or not, maybe it wasn't Pixar, some cartoon where it's like guy goes to his desk every day and sits mm-hmm. down and types in numbers. This guy's been doing this for too long. <laughs> All his feathers fell out from just. <laughs> Not even stress, just like except monotony. Except for his head feathers. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. But no, the team I'm going to root for tonight mm-hmm. is what I was going with. The team I'm going to root for tonight is the team whose coach doesn't have to be held back <laughs> the most. I'll count. count. The Eagles coach has to like have like people attached. To, like, it's how embarrassing. So are you going to count for like the first half and then start rooting in the second half? Literally, or- I'm going to change based on... How many times oh, I see okay. it. It's like, oh, that's one <laughs> for the Eagles coach. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Oh, okay. now I'm not rooting for either of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nope, that's a second hold back for the Chiefs. Now mm-hmm. I'm rooting for the... Yeah, that's how I'm going to determine it okay. tonight. Because I lose all respect for those coaches who yeah. can't just... I know. And then, and then like, have the audacity to not be... Like, you know, someone came up to him, like... the manager or whatever the mm-hmm. owner is like you need to stop running onto the field and he's yeah. like i can't do it you need to hire a grown man to grab me by the belt <laughs> and they're like we can't we can't put that out there yeah. he's like well say he's like the defensive coordinator or something mm-hmm. but his main is part of that is that he has to hold my belt mm-hmm. the whole game how embarrassing yeah, that, that guy doesn't go home and, and tell like, his kids what, what he, he does for a living. Doing? Like he's wearing like a headset with a microphone, leaning forward like an extra foot is not going to change whether they can hear you or not. I've had people explain it to me. There's like, well, you see, he's not actually being a big baby and uncontrollable like a toddler. It's like, no, he is a hundred percent being that way. Like it's embarrassing. I I, al- I already thought that with coaches most of the time because it's like. You know, in the middle of a game, especially a game as important as the Super Bowl, yelling at the people isn't going to change anything. No, not one bit. Like, you, you're you allowed to calmly explain, you know, things as mm-hmm. an adult, yeah. talking to other adults. This is why we wouldn't do good in the sports <laughs> world. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap up today's. I was going to add something more football related, but <laughs> this guy... This eagle is... No, don't worry, I probably won't do anything football-related either. 
it's not that I don't want to do something football related. It's more like I don't know what I would do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, you could just like have a football like hitting him in the back of the head. Oh, just to is it like, too late? I haven't signed it yet. Just, just to like to drive home the point that his life, <laughs> that his life is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, here we go. Just out of nowhere, <laughs> just about to hit him. Like he's about to pay for this overpriced trade. <laughs> and, and some some kid outside, probably a, a <laughs> yeah, Chiefs fan. Is, this is how it'll go. It'll be a. You, you know, you know what they always shout uh, in sports when there's a chance you're going to get hit by something is. Oh, I was going to say timber. <laughs> the, that's a different <laughs> sport. <laughs> you know, when like somebody's hit a mm-hmm. hit a baseball and they think it's right. going to hit the crowd. So they shout four. Oh. I haven't watched enough sports. To you need to watch ba- more baseball. Okay. See, it doesn't typically happen in football. Right. Because they don't, they're don't they not throwing the ball into the audience. Do you think there's people at home who are like legitimately thinking that I think it's from foot- from baseball? It's actually from golf. Mm. Also, I didn't realize until two weeks ago that when they were shouting four, they weren't shouting like the number four. <laughs> That's the kind of four they're shouting. We can get into this more what? later. Yeah, I'm going to sign this. You can start drawing. What, and I'll what, get... what does that kind of four mean? I'll regale you with the history behind it in okay. a couple of minutes. I also have some eagle jokes that I read. This guy, this poor eagle. His life <laughs> sucks. Yep, well, there you go. Take a look at that picture and tell me, do you think the eagles are going to win? And if you don't, maybe Benji's drawing will convince you the chiefs are going to win. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can do that. So the exciting history of why golfers shout four before they hit a golf ball mm-hmm. is because I see legitimately, I used to think it was the number four because just shouting like F O R or anything else just never made sense to me. And I literally never thought about it. Right. But they apparently used to have somebody called, or they, maybe they still do have somebody called a four caddy, like the forward caddy mm-hmm. who would, you know, he, you know how in golf you, they like, it's the only sport where you can still have like servants. For some right. reason, I digress. But they uh, would have the four caddy mm-hmm. who went forward to like see where the golf ball would land. So apparently, they would shout. They just shortened it from four caddy to mm-hmm. four to like warn that person that the ball was coming, or I guess in some way to be like, "Pay attention, I'm shooting." Servants of mine, you know. I wonder how this line should actually be, but I'm going to draw it like that, and people can. Looks relatively familiar. Does it? What is it? <laughs> is it a counter? Uh, kind of like. So you're counter. drawing chiefs. Mm-hmm. Chiefs. That's what I'm drawing. Let's see. Are there any other sports that have like? I guess, I guess there are more like servant people in sports than you might think. Mm-hmm. Football, for example, has those people who like. The football player is done doing the play, and they sit down, and the water person has to come over and, like, squirt a water bottle in their mouth. That's kind of embarrassing. That coach we were talking about, yeah, I mean, that's still the most embarrassing. That is the most embarrassing. And then, uh... There's always I mean, the towel boy. You always, you always have, uh, just college, you know... Sports, where they mm-hmm. don't get paid. That's and true. And do all, all the work. Bat boy is the one that always got me. Not only because it sounds like it would be cool, because you're working with Batman, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's like what Robin should be. <laughs> yeah, Bat Boy. No, I'll call him a, a, a small bird, predatory <laughs> bird. No, just a normal bird. <laughs> the worst, the bird. worst bird. <laughs> no, Bat Boys. I don't know how they get away with that. They're like, you there, child, <laughs> carry these heavy wooden sticks. It's not child labor. Yeah, exactly. He has a cool job. <laughs> yeah. He's supposed to be happy because he gets to wear a jersey. He, he gets to help out the team yeah. that he likes. Hmm. Yeah. It's like a weird skirt around the, the child labor laws for sure. <laughs> what has happened to this man's head? Well, nothing yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why is he missing? 
part of it. <laughs> this hand is stepping oh, up. Just, just right, just at the right angle to avoid the counter line. Yep. This is not how it always works. <laughs> I know what I always hold up my arm. I try to keep it away from other lines. I don't know in case I, somebody's <laughs> sketching yeah, me. It's, just, <laughs> it's a courtesy thing, really. I don't know where the other legs should be, so I'm just not going to draw them. The other one, and the other legs, like the back oh. legs of well, the yeah, counter. They, they just both somehow behind him so people can just <laughs> guess maybe it's like one of those like saloon bar tops that like it only it's like attached in one spot and then it just has a hinge that goes up and down mm -hmm. go with that just like that oh uh, what is that okay is that what I um bench that's mm -hmm. that's that's a chef yeah, that's what I'm drawing. You're drawing chiefs. Yeah. How how do you think chef is spelled? Uh, it's obviously you know I'll just write the title now. Um, See. Is that, oh, by the way, is that an accent mark, or is that where the dot for the eye should have been? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, because I hate to break it to you, but you see where that dot is? There's supposed to be an eye there for chief. Mm. Well, th there might be. You but that of, guy's a chef. You can kind of see, like, I mean, you could argue that he's this a is chef all, who like looks, that, unfortunately, that. like he's chopped off one of his hands. But not, well, he hasn't. He's, he's chopping. No, no, no. You have to draw chiefs like like a Native American chief. Wow. That sounds kind of that's racist and good at Hey, hey, it is not racist. Baseball got rid of the Redskins. So <laughs> not, the, not the Chiefs. See, it's been agreed upon, I suppose, that Chiefs is still okay. Uh, because I don't think most Native Americans would even disagree that that's, like, what they're called. Yeah, I, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, the actual word. Like, chief, right? Yeah, except for when you misspell it and draw a chef. Mm -hmm. What is that? Wait, it's an eagle. No, it, <laughs> it can't be an eagle. It's illegal. Aw. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> no, it's not how it works. <laughs> As much as my poor, <laughs> poor eagle might appreciate the <laughs> sweet, the sweet release. Is it illegal yeah. to eat them if they died? I think it, killing them. First of all, if you just like find a dead bald eagle, you <laughs> probably shouldn't eat it either. Well, what if what if he's you know the chef for someone rich and famous? I mean, this is exactly yeah. what the it's chefs for the rich and famous do. This is probably like what every country that really doesn't like America serves <laughs> to like their leaders. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're like, don't worry. Like, like, just imagine if like the leader of North Korea is sitting there, <laughs> like eating a bald eagle. That's like the most <laughs> anti-American thing like, to do. Like, like you know how like they sometimes they'll serve a turkey with like the head still like yeah. attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like. A bald eagle. I don't think they normally put the turkey for the record. <laughs> Maybe a pig. I just agreed too quickly to what you were saying, and I was like, wait, that never happens. Yeah. Fish? Yes. Pigs? Yes. Bald eagles. <laughs> the third one, I guess. Uh, I mean, like, from, it, it's I just mean, such a power move. It is. It is in a terrible way. The most power move thing to eat the. So here. I see o over here. Imagine this guy that I'm drawing right now. <laughs> okay. Imagine he. Oh, I don't even know how to draw faces. I see. I don't know what anybody in sports ball looks like, but imagine this is the uh, head. Um, you know the what? What do they call coach? This is the coach of. Um, the other chiefs. He's just about to eat 
is Neo the two beers? What is it? What happened to his hand? The hand mangler struck. <laughs> his fingers are mm-hmm. like fused. He's about to eat, you know, his meal of an eagle. Yeah. Right before the game. And then he got this. What is going on? What is he wearing? Like a, a weird belt? Yeah, this is a guy's hand <laughs> holding back. <laughs> oh man! With a glove on because he didn't want to touch his butt directly. <laughs> Seriously, I hope the coach. Yeah, like <laughs> he's being held back because <laughs> he wants to really eat the. Oh, yeah, he needs to wear like those those ear muff things <laughs> with the with the mic on it. <laughs> this is the coach really wanting to eat. He's just so excited about eating this eagle. Yeah, right before. Ready for his uh, sports ball game against the Eagles. First of all, I want you to guess. This, this is unrelated, but it's, very, it's also very related. Mm-hmm. You didn't draw a Chief. <laughs> but I was like, well, maybe it's okay. Maybe the mascot for the Kansas City Chiefs is like a chef, because that would be funny. Because right. it's like one letter off. Yeah. Guess what the actual mascot for the Chiefs is. Mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. give you three guesses. Is it like Master Chief from Halo? Oh, see, that would be cool. But mm-hmm. No, that's not it. Okay, that's too bad. Is it like Commander in Chief? Like it's just the president? Is that would also be relatively <laughs> interesting, but no, it's not. Like they, they literally have to call out the president to come like <laughs> dance around with the cheerleaders? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be quite something to see, no matter who it was <laughs> throughout history. But no, that's not it. You get one okay, more guess. One more guess. Is it just like a guy? Like he's like, you know, hey, they call me Chief. That my, that my oh, like <laughs> how people, like old people do that? Mm-hmm, yeah. And weird people do that? Mm-hmm. Like, how's it going, Chief? Yeah. Like, you just, like, walk into a store and they're like, yeah, how's it, how's it going, Chief? I don't even know how that would be in that. It's like an ordinary <laughs> guy that's, like, yeah. looking slightly confused and uncomfortable like, because anybody, somebody he doesn't know called him Chief. Anybody that's seen the show Community when they're trying to make their mascot uh, the human being. <laughs> The craziest thing, thing on earth. Because <laughs> they didn't want to be like racist or sexist or anything. Mm-hmm. See, apparently, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs used to have a mascot that was just literally like a Native American chief. Yeah, yeah which is what you'd expect. His name was War Paint, oh. which is the coolest name mm-hmm. for a mascot I've ever heard of. Yeah. But apparently, in 1989, mm-hmm. he was replaced by Kansas City Wolf. I guess it is it a wolf? Look at this dorky thing. Looks like a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff. Oh man. <laughs> like, oh like, like, like why is its legs so fat? I mean it has to be like that, I think. Why? So that there can be like another person in So there's of two it. people inside of it? <laughs> One person for each leg. It was it was like right as the nineties were hitting when they developed them. Those pants were cool back then. <laughs> In the they're, 90s. they're so fat. Late 80s, early 90s pants. This is how most mascots' pants are. But yeah, so no, they replaced like a cool Native American war chief mm-hmm. called War Paint right. with that monstrosity. Yeah. Imagine, imagine being the guy who used to be the mascot. <laughs> He'd come out on a horse and like how much better traditional like Native American like garb, and mm-hmm. then imagine them being like. Sorry, it's culturally insensitive. So we're replacing you with a, a dorky little man. Like, he but how much so cooler man. would it be if their mascot was a chef, and they always like cooked up whatever the mascot was? That would be real dangerous. Like even if, when they're playing the Patriots, <laughs> even if it wasn't like a, you know, like a literal eagle, they just like get like a turkey and they get looked like an eagle. It would be again. There's dolphins <laughs> are out there, man. You get like a fish, a and fish? make it look like a dolphin. <laughs> You know, well, they can make obviously they can when it's make like the Patriots. They can know. make cakes, I guess, into anything nowadays. Yeah. So it's just like, and a, if you were doing like the Patriots, you'd just do something like the bald eagle, and like yeah. you'd just eat a bald eagle just straight up. Well, really, it would look like a bald. It would be like a turkey, but ah, oh, okay. But they like paint the head. I think this would get really complicated when it's like <laughs> we're playing the Colts next weekend, and people are like, I don't know if they should be pretending to eat a horse. No, well, they should. Why not? It's funny. There's a few problems. Like, I wouldn't even call that, like, dark humor when it's animals. I mean, I'm all for it. I still think it should be a chef versus the Kansas mm-hmm. City wolf. Yeah. KC wolf. Like, come on. 
come on. And I mean, if you just like kind of merge, you know, the H and the I a little bit. Okay. No one even, no one even has to know that you changed the name. They're going to eat a freaking Viking when they're playing the Vikings? And eat like, they, they like make a pig and put a Viking on it. What do they do when they play the Browns? Like gravy? Yeah. But it's like, it's like some brown 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 of... Well, what is, what is the Browns mascot? That's a good question. Because, like, when they're playing the Suns, they just have to, like, eat a grill. <laughs> that's, that's basketball. Whatever. Who cares what sports or what? Uh, it's a dog. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> you could eat a dog. Uh, no. Wait, is his name Brownie? Wait. Wait, is Brownie the elf in the mascot? I mean, brown brownies are like fairies. Like, uh, yeah. like in the classic story, the sh- the shoemaker and the brownies. It's, it's like it looks like okay. They have more than one mascot. Oh, they one have mascot. Chomps the dog mm-hmm. and Brownie the elf. I mean, they could just eat brownies. Like the chef could make oh, brownies. See, okay, that would actually be pretty good. That would yeah. be the best of all of them. <laughs> if they're like looking forward to when they play against the Browns. This evil thing's going too far, eh? <laughs> and you didn't draw chief. You draw, drew a chef. <laughs> a floating <laughs> chef. <laughs> He's like hopping up to get like leverage to chop down no, on this thing. It's a perspective thing. If you say he's using like a tomahawk, then I guess <laughs> I guess this brings it back a little bit. I mean, you could, you you could should, say that. You should give his, uh, his chef hat like a feather. <laughs> like, <laughs> like just sticking out right here. Just looks like a knife out there. (laughs) Feathers and leaves look like the same. (laughs) Especially when you're drawing them with black pen. Yeah. I was thinking more like sticking out like a, you know, like a Native American headdress, but. Well, it is. It's a side view. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Well, based on these two drawings, (laughs) who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl then? I mean, not, you're, I think? you're literally murdering my drawing. Yeah, so. I mean, clearly, this guy's going to win. Yeah, but I mean, that eagle in my drawing is about to snap. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. there could be some rage fuel, yeah. you know, Yeah, who's going to win, a depressed eagle, or... I think my drawing depicts a turning point in that eagle's life. Mm-hmm. Right. He's going like, to, like, get hit by the football and, like, go super safe. He's going to, like, power up and immediately <laughs> sprout, like, a million... Mm-hmm. Golden eagle and feather is gonna like, quit his job and go. He's gonna take that football and run it all the way to the nearest like end zone and just touch down it, yeah. like spike it right there. And, and then and then somebody's gonna see him do it and well, he's gonna become like it'll be like back. suddenly he's in the like the nearest football field was like the Eagles football field. Mm-hmm. And like, You're hired. <laughs> yeah. I've never, I've never seen someone down that fast. And then he wants revenge Some for what your top. chef did. <laughs> To his friend. Yeah. <laughs> Although the Eagles coach can't be there seeing my Eagle because he's clearly there. <laughs> or is that the Kansas no, this, City coach? This, this, oh, that's yeah. the Kansas oh, okay. Because he's, he's going to eat the Eagle. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because he's going to play against them. Well, know. time will tell. But really, go and vote on just based on these drawings who's mm-hmm. going to win tonight. Yes. Or who should win tonight based on these drawings. Even if it already happened, who should have mm-hmm. won based yes. on these drawings? Good luck. What do they need luck for? <laughs> like watching the game? Like, well, I mean, that's good luck to your team. We, or just in general. I meant to them personally. Oh. We we're going to a Super Bowl party. Mm-hmm. We're not like good like, luck at surviving the party. Yeah, like you know those things. Well, you and I are going to go. Snack see, is there? Is, yeah, exactly. Good luck. Hopefully, they're serving like not you hopefully, know hopefully boring one of, yeah hopefully one of the commercials is decent this this year exactly hopefully they're not just serving like plain dried pretzels yeah. in a bag plain dried bagel mini bagels like sex mix but with all the good things taken out yeah. you know like good luck and if the odds be ever <laughs> in your favor again not not to the team to them yeah right to the person about the snacks see you next week bye as always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. 
There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.